Hello everyone, welcome to our hatch for September. Um, as you all know, we are using the new blue diamond range. This is the new machine. It looks very similar to the blue roller and we'll get to the new features now. Okay, so the machine comes with a, a free starter kit, drinker feeder, misting bottle, and uh, this time around with some automatic refill um, parts. Okay. Okay, so we're removing all the levels so that we can see the, the water tray um, that's visible here. So here we can see um, there's three compartments and we've got an automatic refill uh, water bottle here connected to it. So this one's leaking a bit over because I think uh, there was a bit of movement. But so we start off with one water tray. If the humidity does not rise high enough, we, we go to a third, uh, to a second one and still not high enough to a third. But uh, we've been running this one with one tray and it's perfect. It's running at like 55%, between 55 and 60%. So it's exactly where we want to be. Okay, so we removed, one, we, we removed the top level. We, we start at the bottom and work our way up. So once we're at the bottom level, we take the roller and fit it and fit them one by one. Um, they are designated holes we just have to make sure that the gear they lie lies directly on on the drive shaft and that will ensure that the incubator turns okay so now that all the rollers are fitted we can uh, see how this is going to work so you'll have access to to the drawer the entire 18 days and then once we are ready to hatch we can just remove the rollers and place the eggs in the in the tray okay so now we do exactly the same for the next level once the first level is done we're going to connect the the second level so we pull through the turning motor wire there once it's pulled through we add the second drawer and we make the connection there okay and uh, we can just open that drawer to just pull it a little straight or pull it through and then we've got the two drawers okay so now the final step is just to add to connect the, um, the turning motor to the to the main board And uh, now we can put the lid. You'll feel it snap into place. Now we can power on. And uh, one. Okay. Once on, we can uh, test the rollers. We press plus, and that should engage the rollers. So one thing we must be careful of is the rollers turn extremely slow because of this setup so you can feel the rollers turn if you're unsure just mark it with a pen and you'll slowly slowly see it turn or touch the the main main drive shaft there so the top one is turning we're going out to the bottom one i can see it's turning there as well okay okay so we've we connected to the 230 volt here and then we're going to connect to the 12 volt the battery backup here as well so we can see it can run on the 12 volt as well as the 230 volt this setup is covered in a youtube video we will share the link okay so next we're going to talk about the humidity control on this machine You'll see we've got three little ports here on the side. There's three compartments and in the base of the machine. And each, each uh, one port, a port goes to the compartment. We uh, do that to, to control the humidity. So what we do is first we fill up one, um, one uh, uh, compartment with water and see what the humidity does. So at the moment we are running with only one and we are getting a, a great humidity of between 55 and 60 percent um, if 
we needed to add or if the humidity wasn't high enough we would add another another level um okay so how this works is uh, it automatic this is an automatic water feed and that uh, uh, feeds water into the separate water trays so it just screws on and uh, um, we fit the little pipe here so next time we do this it will be full of water so we just turn it over and you connect it up to the incubator and it will fill up that tray and then automatically keep filling it as the um, as the water level level inside the incubator um, decreases or as the water evaporates it'll fill automatically this we've got a question on why we are only using one compartment if there's three available um, we will most probably use all three when we hatch and we need a very high humidity um, and if we do all three right now the humidity is going to be way too high for for our humidity requirements of the first 18 days the bottle of water we're going to screw the auto refill station back on okay and this part we need to be careful because you might spill a little water so we're going to flip it over once it's flipped over we've got it in place and there we go we put it right into the into the nozzle and it will refill automatically. If you get to the bottom layer, just make sure you don't pull too hard to uh, um, to, to, to cause the, the wires to pull out. Okay, so we are laying the eggs flat on the side. Um, that is the, 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 the natural way how the, how the eggs lay in the nest as well. The roller will turn the eggs um, to uh, make sure that uh, to make sure that the yolk doesn't stick to the egg and it'll do like a, a full 360. So we are starting a, a, a new edge. So we just reset the machine just so it, uh, um, we press plus and minus all that in until it beeps. I just want to make sure that the hatching day start now, now that the, the eggs have been added. Hi guys, so we are at the day 8 candle, firstly we're just going to unplug the incubator and remove the polystyrene from, uh, from the unit. You don't have to be in too big a hurry, um, the eggs can handle a bit of, uh, um, a bit of cold and fresh air. Okay. Then uh, you can either candle with the incubator and then it will have to be plugged in or you can candle with a little candling torch. The blue diamond range does not come with a candling torch, but it is available for sale on our website. To turn on the LED, you just press the little light, uh, light button there and the, the LED will come on. The most important part of our candling is doing it in an extremely dark room. So you want the only source of light to be the, the candling torch in the lid or the, uh, the, the, the free-handed Hi, this is our day 18 candle, so it's the final candle. So what we're going to start doing is we turned off the incubator, we took all the polystyrene off, and now we're just going to take all the eggs out. Okay, so we disconnect the turning motors, close the drawer, and we're going to take all the rollers out. Okay, so now we're ready to candle. 
we're gonna use our trusty old candler here to to candle the eggs we're gonna start at the bottom we're gonna start putting the eggs in the bottom if the bottom tray falls up we're gonna put on the top tray as well but the tray is clear we can use this as the hatching basket now Okay, now the final step is to, to add the water. We, we've done the entire, the first 18 days we've, we did with only one tray fold. We're gonna do two now. We'll monitor uh, how wide the humidity goes. If it doesn't go high enough, we'll add a third, a third water station as well. Good day everyone, so it's finally time to tally our, um, our hatch, so what we're going to do is we just, we're going to unplug the machine and turn it off, um, we open up, the tanning tray is already disconnected, so if you had eggs on this level, you would be able to take them out now, um, as mentioned before, we don't recommend opening the drawers too much while there's chicks inside, they might jump off the back, and if you try to close the drawer, it's uh, squash them. So we don't have any, any chicks on this level. So now we're coming up to, the, to our hatching level. We've got a box here set up with water and food. Um, this is a starter, starter mash and then some water. And we'll add a heating, uh, um, uh, a heating sauce later this afternoon.